Today's adventure brings me to Lakeland, Florida, to Publix Field at Joker Marchant Stadium as a recording of this August 24th, 2021. Something a little different today and go to a stadium I have never stepped foot in before. The spring training home of the Detroit Tigers, also known as Tiger Town, is also where their lowest affiliate, there's AAA, AA, 1A, and there's something called Low A. The Detroit, well, no, the Lakeland, the Detroit affiliate, Lakeland Flying Tigers. I'm going to a game. Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here, walking up Tampa J. What's up everyone? You might be wondering what that creaking noise is. It was my glove. I had it in this hand. I had brought my glove. You have brought a glove. Got mine too. Give you a little fist bump with the glove. A little a glove little, bump. A little glove bump. <laughs> Probably have the ability to maybe catch a foul ball or even, I don't know if there's home run seats. There's no Tampa Bay Rays games I, I going think, on right I now. I think there's a high, higher probability of us catching a, a ball at this game. A think. good possibility. Yeah, a have good you, ever possibility. Been, you ever been here before? No, it's my first time here at this stadium. And I said, let's go to a... a, a a low A baseball game as opposed to an MLB game just to see what the difference is. And you said, oh heck yeah, I'll be there. That's and, right. And you made it. I jumped right on I-4 and I came right down with my glove. Nice. Right here. Joker Marchant Stadium. Be neat if they had public subs in there. Definitely. I love public subs. I'm going to say doubtful that that's going to happen. but Doubtful. I, they definitely have hot dogs in there, right? Public hot dogs? They could be public hot dogs. Alright, I'm inviting you to join me in Tampa J. Shall you? They will be going up against the Dunedin Blue Jays, which is the Toronto Blue Jays affiliate as well. These gentlemen are here at home plate looking down. Oh, there's George Jenkins who, who started Publix. George W. Jenkins was the founder of Publix Supermarket while Joker Marchant was the director of Parks and Recreation for 30 years for the city of Lakeland. I think that's what that is, yeah. There you go. That's where the stadium got its name. They are giving a little handshake there at home plate. I think they'll have batting practice. It's also very humid. It rained a little bit ago. And it's not in a dome. Tropicana Field, which is, you know, how far do you think Tropicana Field is from here? About like uh, 45 about, minutes? Uh, Traffic-wise, we're about an hour, but realistically, uh, 35, 35 35 miles? miles? Yeah. This is not a dome like the Trop, so if it rains, we're gonna get wet. They are very, very close in proximity to each other. That's the way handshakes, that's the way handshakes are though. Getting up close, doing some business. They're probably only maybe, huh? don't disregard six feet altogether. They are less than six inches. There, there yes. That's some <laughs> eye contact making this business deal. <laughs> Wanna recreate that? No. <laughs> Ended up purchasing the ticket online. It was only $9 and parking is included. There is no parking fee for regular season games here. Possibly during spring training when the crowds are a little bigger. Maybe. But right now, there's no parking. $9 seats. I got them on the first base line. And it doesn't look like it's going to be a full house. I might be able to move around and kind of just shift wherever I feel like. i just kind of play it by ear. But just informed that gates do not open until an hour before. It is currently 5.15. I'm standing at the selfie spot, but cannot go into the stadium until 5.30. First pitch is at 6.30 here in... Tiger Town, since it is a selfie spot. Should probably get a. Of course, you get a selfie. Should probably get. A, get you gotta get the selfie with me. Yeah. yeah. Will, will we be the only ones with Tampa Bay Rays hats on in Tiger Town? I think we might be. Yeah. There you go. Bring the heat. And have made it inside now at exactly 5.30, one hour before first pitch. This is Ty Cobb. The only reason I, I recognize Ty Cobb is because of the, the little placard down there with a quote from him. I never could stand losing. Second place didn't interest me. I had a fire in my belly. Right there. You got a little, got a little something brewing down in the belly, Ty. And it looks as if the trash cans have helmets on top of them. So you put the trash below the helmet itself. You put it down in the trash can. 
That's pretty neat. Oh, look at that. There's a big tiger right there on the side of the on the side of the wall. And plenty of t-shirts with the logo on it. There you go. Baseball is life. The flying tigers there. Flying tigers here. Established back in 2007 is when the team when the team started. Even a few caps, not just the Detroit MLB versions, but also the low A affiliate here in Tigertown, the the Lakeland Flying Tigers right here. These are fitted too, which is kind of nice. I'm not going to be getting one, you know. I already have my teams, but it is cool to it's cool to check out other stadiums and other games. Right here along this marker board, they have the starting lineup for both teams written with a Sharpie. You got the Lakeland there and then you got the Dunedin Blue Jays right down here. Now, if we ever wanted to go to a Rays spring training game, one day after the regular season, after the postseason, you know, next year in 22, go down over here in Charlotte, which is, that's probably what, an hour and a half south of yep. Tropicana Field? Yep. Tropicana Field would be up here. Well, the Yankees spring train, pretty close to Tropicana Field. Like, so you got Tampa here, and you got St. Pete, so Tropicana Field's like around here somewhere? Am I getting that right? Yeah, it's about right, about right there. Trying to figure out this bingo thing. Every play that happens, you basically take the play throughout the game and you fill out the bingo card. That's pretty complex. Right now, all I want to do is get a beverage because the humidity out here is intense and it does not appear as anything over here on the third base side is open. I really need, I either need a water or a soda or something like that to, to quench my thirst. It is hot out here. At the hot corner. It's the hot corner. <laughs> this, it's humid out here. It is scorching hot. It is scorching hot. It is just about 45 minutes to first pitch, currently 542. So three minutes it'll be 45 minutes to first pitch. So 48 minutes to first pitch if you're doing the math. They're doing a little maintenance here on the field. Got the ground crew out. Also noticing that with the exception of maybe two other guests at this time, there is no one in the stadium. Not, well, besides maybe three or four folks, there's no one here at all. Most people probably show up right before first pitch, so I would imagine that that's the case, but now I'm gonna go get a drink. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty thirsty. Have acquired a souvenir cup here with a Dr. Pepper in. Walked out to the outfield and kind of a neat little setup here uh, directly below the outfield. The outfield overlook is the, is the bullpen for both teams kind of all the way out here. It's about a half hour till first pitch. And I got a player out here warming up out on the outfield, as well as the, one of the catchers walking across. You can still see even a half hour prior. Still not a whole heck of a lot of people in the stadium. And yet another has joined the party. Hi, we got Adventures by George, Greg's game room. What should I refer to you as? Greg. Just Greg. Just Greg. It's just Greg. It's just Greg. Have you ever been to the stadium before? I've been a couple of times, yeah. A few times? A Tiger Town? Yeah. It's good. It's a nice little stadium. Now you're a card you're a Cardinals fan by by trade. I am a Cardinals fan, and I was gonna wear my Cardinals gear tonight. You but should. I thought I'm in Polk County. I'm you're gonna have wearing to wear the Polk. Polk State College. You're going full on stuff. Polk. Yeah. We're going full on Tampa Tampa Bay. Oh, you guys got some really good seats. Yeah, these are really good. Fantastic. You're not gonna really be able to see the field too well from here, but uh, you can actually get lost in here. You could. I'm not sure if these chairs got bigger or if I got smaller. I just want to stand directly underneath this gargantuan fan right here the entire evening. Be nice if this was on field level, because this feels amazing. Walk back over into the gift shop just to get a little AC for now. I'm noticing the foam fingers up here. There's not only foam fingers, but there's foam paws. Right there. Look at that, that is a foam right paw, there. a tiger paw, yeah. or a tiger claw. I think it's a tiger claw. Did you say faux paw? What's the difference? I did, what's the difference between a paw and a claw? A paw and a claw. Well, the claw has, you know, the claw part. The claw. Oh, dang, that is a... Can you, can you, can you toss me that? Yeah, I got you. Get, hold on, let me get my glove on. Get let me ready? get my glove on here. Is your glove let me get my glove on here. Ball? Get it, come on. Uh, just gonna it up there. Get it up there. Got it, got it. Are you playing it? That was a pop-up. I'm playing, yeah. And just about five minutes before it was officially supposed to start, I walked back out from kind of looking around the gift shop, and the tarp has been placed across the field. They rolled the tarp. I missed the rolling out of the tarp, but, oh, it is, it is very, very windy. A lot of noises that are happening around in the, yeah, very, very gusty. In fact, the players have already started to, to take shelter. They have gone into the dugout, getting their stuff, running back out to the outfield, way back out to the outfield to kind of get out of the elements. 
It is very, very gusty. In fact, the tarp is now blowing up from the field. The wind is picking up and the tarp is blowing off of the third base side of the field. The players are all running for cover and I think I'm going to do the same. This might pass by. You never know. Floor, it goes by. Weather goes by quickly. You never know. Oh, look, they're moving. They're shifting over there. Oh, oh. They're going by. The wind is blowing those. Okay, it's coming down. Yeah, look at that. That was exciting. They started to shift on their own. That, that picnic cable stopped them. Look over there. Look at the... Whoa, yeah, this is... This is Florida. You got humidity first, and then because of the humidity, the, the rain clouds start to formulate, and then it just kind of unleashes. Now, there is an old adage, if you have an umbrella, it will stop raining. I just purchased a poncho in the little gift shop, so maybe that will be the same. Either way, I'm going to have a stylish poncho on. To say I am really fascinated by the removing of the tart from the diamond from the infield baseball diamond now at first I, I had assumed that they were going to completely pull the tarp off roll it up put it inside the little I guess this plastic tubing they put it in and then take it back you know off the field but as I'm noticing what they're doing is removing the water off of one side so they're all pulling it across the diamond itself and then out to the outfield and then this group of all these group of gentlemen from the ground crew go all the way walk all the way to the outfield fence and then they loop back turn around and walk back towards the infield putting what was the downside onto the soil they're putting that up towards the sky now which you remove the water off which if, you know obviously my assumption was wrong they are not about to they're not about to start the first pitch but they are waiting. They have not put the little stanchions back in, the little metal stanchions that hold the tarp down. And it looks like to be a, it looks to be a little clearing off in the sky over there. So there is a possibility that this might be might be played for the evening. Current time, 7.20. And I believe it is hot dog time. A good way to be patient is to chow down on a tasty hot dog from the canteen. And the cost of hot dogs here for a regular hot dog four dollars you can get it with fries for eight dollars i'm gonna go sans fries and just get the hot dog. did you get the hot dog and fries i got the hot dog combo is 6.95 actually jumbo Six hot dog dollars. and fries okay so it says eight dollars up there but it was only 6.95 yeah i guess so okay so the hot dog's four and then the fries maybe i'll get the combo i might get the combo you talked me into it i went with two four dollar hot dogs what you got was the jumbo dog i don't know if your price the price is right on yours i don't know maybe i gotta to check I, your receipt you I, have loaded i got a discount <laughs> nonetheless mine was eight dollars and i also went with an, an aquafina water here which is kind of good yeah an aquafina water and two dogs now i just need to load up on some condiments i think they have do they have do they have onions no onions, just... They have everything but onions. They have everything but onions. <laughs> That's what I want! All right, now I'm really wanting to know, Greg, exactly how much what... You know how much yours was? Uh, that was eight bucks. Eight bucks. You said yours was six ninety five. I swear I read six ninety five. Someone is mistaken. Possibly. Either way. I didn't really feel like having fries. That is a, definitely a jumbo dog. Eight dollars, not a bad deal. That's the same price as I... So, I got a regular size hot dog with no fries for the same price as you guys paid, but I didn't get a jumbo dog. I got a regular dog. Three of us eating hot dogs. Oh, my game, I'm done. 
<laughs> All right, it is now 7.55. Tarp is off the field. It's just about time for the first pitch. Players are making their way out. Five minutes until 8 p.m. Original time was going to be at 6.30. So about an hour and 25 minutes past when first pitch was supposed to be. The game is about to begin. Oh, and that's a pop-up. Pop that's up. a pop-up. Oh, right there. Ready. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, right over there. That's where we were doing the wave earlier. Go, 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 go. There's quite a bit of lightning over there. Let's wait for the... Wait for the oh, go on. he's going, he's going. Oh, go, oh, go, go, go. Made it to third. Nicely done. A little, a little mess up at home plate. Ooh, good thing that netting is there. You really have to think about it. So Remember, these players, to advance up to MLB, they would have to go from 1A, well, below, below this is below 1A, to 1A, to 2A, okay, to 3A, 3A, and then to 4A. So the struggle is real. Some players play in, and you know, one to triple A, their whole career, never make it to the big show, the MLB. And I bet if you ask a lot of them, they are probably very thankful to be getting paid at all to do, to play one of their favorite sports. It's kind of like Feel the Dreams when Ray Liotta talks about how he would play for food money. I get it. When I was young, that's what I wanted to do, except I didn't have the talent or put the time and effort in. I like how intimate this is, just up close and personal. Oh, that was like really close to the face there. How, what, are the, what are the odds of you grabbing the glove in time I don't know, you want to test if there was a foul ball? All right. All right. Give it a test. All right, say foul ball. Right. Okay, here comes a foul. That was a, that was a ball. There it is, there it is. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. right, coming around third. The score. There you go. I feel like he's gonna. Oh, I knew he was gonna steal that base. I knew he was gonna steal it. Got it. Just put your feet up there. Get all comfortable. Oh, that's to the outfield. Got it. And the air. Got a nice, uh, nice little foot rest here. It is very quiet and peaceful in here. In the third baseline. You could hear a pin drop almost. Hello up there. Hello up there, Greg. Who's there? Ooh, look at that. See that lightning? Yeah, you can do her out here. You see the ball going that way? Can't wait. It's a break for it. I'm excited. Can't wait. We're just talking about it a little bit. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Walked over here to the Jumbotron, number nine, Kingston Laniac. It's up to up to bat. This is the what they call the Corona Cabana. Pretty neat how they have it set up. You could kind of just stand here in the little trench area. And look across the field there. Oh there it is. You got this man. Nice. Nailed it. One thing about this area out here, plenty of opportunities to maybe get one of the outfielders to throw a little toss up to you. If you can get their attention, it's hard to get their attention. I gotta kind of wave the glove around if they're feeling kind enough to, to throw one out to whoever's in the outfield. That's what I'm trying to get the attention there. He's trying to get number nine to a little toss up over here. Almost did. And he launched it back over to the dugout. He was trying to get a Oh, well, just something kind of fun to do out here in the outfield. Wait for that home run ball. I'm, we're all waiting. Just gonna watch our step though. If you had to guess, how do you think there's a lot of home runs hit in this division? At least one or two. One or two every once in a while. Yeah. It's not as common as you know in the in the full of majors. Oh, there we go. Down the third base line. Now I haven't, I haven't done a complete head count on how many people are here, but I'm gonna say there are more players with the two teams combined. Now there's nine on the field, but then you got the relief pitchers, you got the, the other hitters, you got those who are not in the starting lineup. If you add both the teams up, there are more players than there are people in the stands. 
might be tough to see them, but the, the little yellow stripe here down the third base line to signify fair versus foul ball. There's quite a few little bugs on there, mosquitoes. A lot of mosquitoes out here. Right on the line, third base line. Ooh, I can hear some action over in the bullpen. I'll make my way over there in a minute. Did you find the droid you're looking for? Yeah, right there. Look, see, look, BB. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here, BB-8. That's the seat you want. That's oh, the... oh, 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 right in the kneecap. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. I'm gonna pull. Look at this. Look at that. I got a little toss-up. It hit my knee. That's all you, Jay. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, so close. My first ball. B nine. Look at that. Official. Now batting the shortstop number. Rawlings. It has Ruth. a little has a little marker there. And has a little scuff on it, probably from the wooden bat. Or from ricocheting off something. No, it didn't. It wouldn't have ricocheted off anything but the bat, so that's from the bat. Because it wasn't a foul. It only made it into the field of play. It was a foul ball, but in the onto the under the grass, not into the onto the concrete. Or when he threw it and I missed it. There you go. There you go. That's a foul. That's all you, Jay. Right there. Bam. Right there. Second row down. You got it, man. I got it, man. You got a foul ball. Victory is mine. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah. All right. It's all you, man. Now it's my you need turn. one. You got to get one. You, you got to have. You can't. You cannot leave without getting you, <laughs> you gotta something. Stay out here the rest of the game. Is that gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. Oh, there you go. That's work. all you. Oh, that's work. actually in center field. Oh, he went over his head. He went over his head. He's going around. He's going to double. Okay, he's going to score. Oh, he's going to get inside the park home run. Inside the park. There you go. Safe. Inside the park home run. Nice. Went ahead and got some nachos with some jalapenos, some cheese, some salsa. And I have shifted back over here onto the first base line once again. Right there. I'll go with one with the jalapeno, the cheese, and the salsa, all mixed in. Walked him. Just about to be the sixth inning. Got the ground crew on, taking care of business. Going to uh, kind of like taking these little brooms across the infield. There it is, foul ball. And that makes three. Now granted, you did not get that on your own accord. The guys over, the guys over here ran and got it quickly, but then they said, here, you can, they wanted to give it to me, and I said, no, give it to Greg, he needs one. Yeah, they helped me out. Nice, ooh. Oh, safe. We all three got one now. All right, put them up. Ooh. All three of them. Look at that, three together. Our balls combined. Night, nice. They are. They got him. Got him. Oh, oh! Oh, they missed it. Did they get him? Out of the baseline. Called him out. What do you think the odds are of a home run coming out here to this? Well, there goes a foul ball that way. Odds went up just a notch. Well, that's nowhere near out here, though. <laughs> and you would have to hit it up past. Look how high that is. That's a good That's a good 20 feet. 18 feet, possibly. It's coming this way. I can feel it. You can feel it? It's at 3,471 he walked him. One thing I am noticing about here, out here, there's a, a lot of mosquitoes. I have the high chairs over here as well, but there's a lot of mosquitoes in this area, and it's because of the lights right there. And, and because, you know, Florida. Up here! Center fielder! Oh, that was a fail. No toss-up for you, Jay. Nope, none for you either, sir. Nope. So close. So close. Maybe next time. Dang. I'm noticing there's like a, a piece of a tree down there, like a stick. There was just a foul ball over there down the third base line where we were a momentarily, well, earlier. And now someone has procured. He can't find it. You know what's an empty stadium when someone can get a foul ball going from the first base line, jogging all the way over casually and then looking for it, picking it up, you know it is not a full house. 
Definitely not a full house today. Not a full house. We've sat in about every area. Yeah, I believe that's going to be an out. It's an out. Retire in the side. Top of the eighth. Top of the eighth. This is a late night because it didn't start for yeah. an hour and 50 minutes after it's supposed to because of the rain delay. It's getting there. All right. If you want to toss it up? There we go. Thanks, buddy. Adam got it. Nailed it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Number two. <laughs> oh, he's moving the stick, too. The stick has gone. This is kind of scuffed up a little bit, too, but it's not from a bat. It's like scuffed from the ground. It's always good to have a little... A little, little, little scruffage on there. I got two of these. I don't even need these, but they're fun to have. The scruffage gives it care. And it is now raining again. It's just, I would call it a little heavier than a drizzle. So I've stepped back here under the awning out here in center field. Oh, well, right center field, that's a pop-up. Down there, should be able to get it, make the play. Oh, it's a foul ball. Over there, the first base side. You can really see the rain there starting to fall, especially with the lights and the mosquitoes over there. Lots of bugs. Ooh, off the wall. Nice hit. Nice hit off the wall out there and left. Scores 11 to 2. We were just conversating about how there are four errors total, two by each team. Something you don't really see in the majors too much. Kind of feel like there needs to be a mascot running around here. Like up and down the stands. A mascot just livening everything. Oh, that would liven everything up. That is, oh, got it. It's an out. There's someone running through, oh, what's going on here? This is during, I don't know, what just happened? He just ran over there from the bullpen, darted across the outfields. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely good that we're under the awning. Like I said, it's just misting a little bit, but when you put the lights as a, the behind the rain, you can really see how it's, the, how it's just coming down there. Still playing though. Only three outs needed. Three outs, and the game is over. Okay. After this, it's only one out needed. That's it. Only one out needed, and the game's over. This is it. There you go. Got it. That's it. That's the game. It's over. Good game. Exciting game. Fun game. They won by quite a bit against the against Dunedin here in Lakeland. The Dunedin Blue Jays have lost against the Lakeland Flying Tigers. That's the end of the ball game. Here are the unofficial totals for tonight's game. For the Dunedin Blue Jays, there were two runs, six hits, and two errors. For the Tigers, there were 12 runs, 9 hits, and 2 errors. The winning pitcher was Flores, and his record is 2 to 1. And the losing pitcher is Manny Lowe, with a record of 3 to 5. And Carson King got his first save of the year. Tonight's attendance was 293, and oh. 12 blocks 293 was the attendance. Didn't seem like that many. Yeah. And that's going to do it for today from Lakeland, Florida. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. I'm pretty happy I got got two baseballs. Pretty dang cool. See you in the next video. The vlog is over.